Tonight, Hoosiers will soon be able to bet on sports. It's going to bring in some valuable revenue for the state, but not everyone thinks it's a good idea. News 8's Travis Robinson spoke to those for and against the new law. Joins us now in studio with more. Travis. Yeah, Mike, Kylie, since the law was just signed yesterday, it's really hard to tell exactly what the future is going to bring here. While proponents of the law say they've made a responsible system, others want you to make sure you know when you're getting in too deep. The idea of winning money is hard to turn down, especially when it relates to something you love. So while Hoosiers might be looking to increase the size of their wallet thanks to their favorite team, the state is looking at sports betting to increase its own as they project an extra $100 million annually. The industry will be healthier, the state will be healthier, will be more competitive and better positioned for a bright future. Opponents of the law are still worried that the ease of access of a mobile device or the popularity of sports betting are going to open the floodgates for new addicts to come in. It's, it's accepted. It's kind of, you know, it will become the norm and accepted, and that, and that can cause problems for people who do have a problem with gambling. Now, the law does have a portion of the taxes it collects going to help problem gamblers and addicts. About 3.3% of taxes are going to help with addictions, with 25% of that going to help problem gambling. We were excited to see problem gaming funding committed uh, from new sports wagering revenue um, to, to combat that, identify it, combat it, educate it. I would like to see more money go toward the treatment, the actual treatment of problem gamblers. And so I'm very thankful that we're getting some money. But I would like to see at least more of it dedicated toward problem gambling. And not everything is completely set in stone yet. The Indiana Casino Association says they're going to be spending the summer looking at the rules and how they're going to implement everything and hope that the money going toward problem gambling will help those in need. Travis Robinson, Wish TV News 8.